Good morning and welcome back to another Holderness Fossils video. Um, today I'm back on the Holderness. It was kind of a, another last minute decision. I thought I want to get another video out and I haven't done the Holderness in a very long time. So I'm at good old Olbra and I'm walking all the way to Mappleton. I'm getting picked up late this afternoon. So it's about three and a half miles, something like that. 3.2 miles. So hopefully we get some fossils. A little pyrite nodule there just picked up. Have a little look at that in a second. Uh, oh, in a big ammonite section. <laughs> it's looking good already. Just turn the camera around. Well, I've literally been on the beach a minute. I've already got a nice big section there full of calcite as well. So yeah, can't really complain. I'll uh, get it dug out and then we'll start walking that way. Now I've just dug that section out and just looking in the cliffs, there's a little gryphia there, a little bit of iron pyrite just there. So there's plenty of stuff. I know Liam has wanted me to record on the Holderness because um, not many people do. Oh, that's a nice block. Not many people do. So it's interesting to see. Little little shells on there. Um, so yeah, it's just an interesting place. But hopefully we can find some nice fossils today. Um, Going to be walking up that way. So uh, we'll uh, see if we can find anything. I'll uh, let, tune back in if I do. I may have just found something I think it's definitely worth keeping. I think it's articulated crinoid. Look at that going in there. This bit as well. All crinoid. Oh, that could be really good. But yeah, there's a little bit there as well. But that looks really good. This stem as well. Try and get that out. I've cleaned it off as best as I could. There is definitely some lovely crinoid in there. That bit especially. That is my first like major crinoid find. I'm really hoping it does air braid. Look at that. That is going to be stunning if that air braids. A little bit of wood in there as well in the middle. Yeah, just that is something else. Very happy. And I've also, while I was just walking to my bag, seen this. Look at that little bivalve. I'll get the trowel on it and get it out. Yeah, plenty of finds to farm over a very good day. And I've only walked from there. <laughs> Got plenty of beach to go. I'm going all the way to the houses in the distance. So I'm very happy. <laughs> so I just found a very pyritic nodule. Uh, but it was quite flat. We did have some really nice pyrite bivalves in. So I'm going to keep that. Really nice. Well, they don't get much better than that. I'll get it out, but what a stunning little ammonite. Honestly, saw it from, you can see my footsteps. I was here and I saw it. So, yeah, very, very, very happy with that. Go and get it out now and then put it in the bag. It's literally, if you can't see it, there. But <laughs> Yeah, tiny, but very nice. Take it all day. That's the first little ammonite I've got today. Um, None of us so far, but plenty of other bits. But loads more beach to go. As you saw earlier, um, I found that crinoid block. This is what they look like individually. See all the little stars? So that's what they all, all the stems look like. Uh, I've had a couple of little finds like that today. Um, and of course stuff I've shown you, but nothing else so far. Well, I'm not complaining at all, it's very productive for this time of year, very productive. Although it's not all ammonites, it's, you don't want to come for just ammonites. The oldness is for everything, so I'm very happy so far. And I've still got plenty of beach to walk. Uh, I'm just going to have a go digging that nodule out there, it looks alright. Because uh, the tide is a bit high in this section, still hitting the cliff there. Try and get around that corner and uh, see what else we can find. You get good days on the Holderness and bad days on the Holderness. And I'm sorry, but this is a really good day. Look what I have just found. I'm so happy. Please be all there. Oh, that is absolutely amazing. It, it genuinely looks like I've placed that there. I really haven't. My footprints are back there. I was stood here. And it was literally just sat there. That is absolutely stunning. That's one of the best quality dax thing I've had off the Holderness as well. <laughs> what a day this is going to be. And I'm still 
nowhere near where I'm meant to be going. I've still got ages to go. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So this has been a big fall. Somewhat recently I would have thought, and the DAC I got was in that slab there. I've just wandered up a little bit and there's also a big section there. So I am having to walk on just this bottom layer of clay because I can't get round, but this cliff, it is a stable there, so should be all right. But all right, we'll dig this out and have a look at it. So we've dug it out and as deceiving as they are, you can turn them on the side and they're just absolutely stunning. I'll never get tired of picking sections up like this. Yeah, very happy. Right. That way now, over all these, and then see if there's anything on the other side. So I'm just having to wait for the tide to go out a bit more to get around this corner. And I've just seen that tiny little bit of ammonite. There's my finger, so it is tiny. There's little things like that, the whole is just littered with. And all these cliffs. But yeah, I'm just having to wait for five minutes to get around there. And then we'll carry on collecting. Just got back to my bag and seen that. Which is a nice size graph here, and hopefully it's not water worn, a lot of them are here, but when they're in the cliff they're usually pretty decent, so yeah, I'll try and get that out. Waiting for the tide to drop, I thought I'd just say I do also have Instagram, TikTok, I use Facebook a lot, just to see a lot of my finds which I've prepped on some videos which not necessarily are in the YouTube videos, so if you guys would want to go and have a look at a bit more exclusive content, and I'll put the, uh, the links down below in this video, to be able to go and have a look. And now we're going to carry on that way. There's another very nice scribe here. There he is. That's lovely. Trapdoor's there as well. Oh, lovely. Put that in the bag. Just got this very promising nodule. Good size, good shape. Nice kind of rim around it. But of course it's a holdness so there'll be nothing in it. <laughs> that seems to be the case, whenever you're on the holdness they never never break well or there's never anything in them. So we will hit it though. See if there's anything inside. Yep, empty and it split the wrong way. <laughs> nothing. This is where the beach starts to drop off and get very barren. Um, I'm still going to look, obviously, but as you can see it's just very sandy today as well, which doesn't exactly help, but I'm hoping on low tide, there's plenty of clay getting exposed, so I'm hoping on low tide there's a bit of clay to go through. Yeah, we'll, we'll carry on up here. I think I'm going to stick to the cliffs for the moment and then change as we walk. Well, I've finally found something. I've had a bit of a dry spell. Just walking this flat towards Cowden and then onto Mapleton, but I've had a bit of a dry spell and then finally got another ammonite. A little Arnie in there. Should be all there as well. Might be some more in this end, but yeah, very nice. Another ammonite. Well, I'm a bit gutted about that one. There were. I don't know, maybe five, six, maybe even more Tenica Statums in there. You can see the edge of one there. Yeah, that's here, also a Tenica Statum. I literally I didn't even look at the underside of the nodule, I just hit it from the top, which I should have looked at it first. They're a bit jumbled anyway, but yeah, it's a bit annoying. Hey ho. And also pick that little. Where is it? A little Arnie on there. Quite worn, so I'll give it a tap, but yeah, no, I'm a little bit annoyed about that. I've just found a very big section, I mean, that's the size of my hammer, and it's thick as well. I saw the back like that. A little bit of calcite as well, definitely worth bringing home. Yeah, really nice. So I just picked this nodule up and turned it over, and there's a big imprint of an ammonite on it. Well, it's got all the sutures when it's wet, when I picked it up, it was a little bit wet. Isn't that lovely? I might give it a tap though, I don't think it's worth keeping. Looks like a pseudo, I don't know. But yeah, I might give it a tap because there's plenty of stuff like showing. Yeah, very nice. So I did hit it and I don't think it is an Amalfius. I don't know if the centre is there, it does look kind of flat. 
I don't know what it is. That's all shell and it's very thin. Way for thin. But I might, I'm definitely bringing that home. Very interesting. Weird ammonite. So hopefully now our luck has changed with ammonites. All this is boulder clay. So definitely going to be going through all that. Just having a little look at all these kind of scattered rocks in the shingle. And then yeah, we'll head up there, see if we can find anything in all the boulder clay. Nice bit of coral there. Not worth taking, but we always like a nice bit of coral. So yeah, we're just coming up to this boulder clay now. Um, as you can see, it's a lot of bigger rocks. A lot of stuff mixed in with it. So I'm definitely going to wait for the tide to drop on this bit and definitely come back. Uh, head up there and then probably walk back here and then go back that way. Yeah, definitely have a look through all this. So I found this very shelly block and there is a pleura there. See the keel? But I don't know, I don't think it's all in there. I think it's just a section. <clears throat> a lot of blocks like this do only have little sections in. And there's like plenty of little sections running all the way through. So I think it's just a little section. So I'm gonna tap it, but yeah. Nice to see though, we just need a full one now. Apart from that uh, little bit of pleuro, there wasn't really much else in that. Um, bit of boulder clay. However, I've now got this to look through, which I think I should get some nice bits of. I'm gonna put my bag down, I'm just gonna zigzag this whole thing. I've got ages, so. And it is massive, and there's so much material to look through. So hopefully we get something really nice here. We've got another ramonite. Be a DAC, I think, looking at it. Should all be in there. Definitely take that one home. Yeah, not too bad. I've just got another ammonite. It was in this nodule in a very thin layer. And that to me is a speeding type without shell preservation. It's completely knackered, but I might take some of this just to see if I can see what it is. But I think it is a speeding type looking at that bit of shell. Yeah, very interesting. It's a lovely little bit of fossilised wood. Well, it's pyratised actually. Very pyratised. Yeah, a little bit of wood. I always like bringing them home, so I'll go in the bag. I'm nearly at the end of this clay. I've got quite a bit left to go though. And then we head up towards Cowden, see the pirate flag in the distance, and then up to Mappleton. So I've got something very, very interesting here. So I saw similar to speeding type material. And then I've popped, topped a little bit off, a bit of shell there, another bit of ribbing there, big bit of wood, and I saw that. Now that is a full ammonite coming down here. I've got no clue what it is, but it's definitely a really nice ammonite. Look at that there. It's big, it's a big block, it's really heavy. But that's definitely an ammonite. Shell of one there as well. I don't know if these are sections of ammonite. So it looks very speeding type again. But that's definitely an ammonite there. Yeah, definitely going in the bag, I think. It's going to be a heavy one. Very heavy. I think that'll be worth it because that is something special, I think. Very happy. Very, very happy. Brilliant. So. I've just stopped to alter my straps and my bag and everything, put my bag down, which is all sorted now because it is a heavy bag. And I've just wandered up and seen this. Let's see if they're all the way round. Oh, yeah, brilliant. Nice Arnie block running all the way through. Very happy. It's the first one today as well, actually, like a well, major one. Um, nearly at the pillbox. And then on the way to Mappleton, there's quite a bit of clay, I can see it. The cliffs were battered a couple of weeks ago. Um, the waves were straight up on the cliffs, absolutely hammering them. And uh, to be honest, on social media, I've seen more ichthyosaur vertebrae come from Mappleton in the past three weeks than I have up north. Um, so, and that's just from people who are like starting out and posting on Facebook and saying, oh, what's this? <laughs> so... Yeah, nice to see.
But yeah, we'll get that in the bag and then we'll have a wander up that way. Don't mind picking up another one of them. Look, still on this side. Look at that, full of calcite. That is lovely. I do love the colours on them. Look at that. Very nice. Right, nearly at the pillbox. Uh, put that Arnie block in my bag. I'll get this put in my bag. It's just more weight though, but it's definitely worth it. Definitely going to be a very heavy bag by the end of the day. Some nodules, you just look at and think there has to be something in there. <laughs> and look at that. Very nice stack. Nice big fat one. Going to be really nice when that's prepped. But yeah, I looked at it, I thought there has to be one in there. <laughs> Very nice. Another nice ammonite. And another dac there, you can hardly see it. See it there. So that's another one. Go in the bag. Popper, I think. Not worth prepping with that out a while. So yeah, we'll take that one home. Finally, we made it to the pillbox. Um, just having a look around here as well. Since I found a couple of couple of dacks back there. So yeah, just get around the pillbox and then we're off to the little spit over there. I don't think there's many people there either, which might be even better. I could have some more fossils to come. But yeah, we'll wait and see. Have a little scout around here and then head over that way. Another bit of fossilised wood there. That pyrite in there. I'm not going to bring this one because my bag is too too heavy now. But yeah, lovely to see you again. I'll leave it down there and carry on up here. We haven't got too far to go now, but I have a feeling with all that clay up there, and it doesn't look like there's many people. There'll be some stuff around there. So I'm trying to limit what I pick up now. Um, yeah, it's a lovely day though. Had a brilliant time so far. See if we can get anything else. This, I think, is a Polyptyachites. I've got one, but it's not very good. It's, it is knackered, and it's only half of it, but I think this is another half of one. See it there, comes down there. Could be a shell, I don't know. I'm going to give it a tap, but I think it's a Polyptyachites. Yeah. Give it a hit. So, I don't know if it was a Polyptyachites or a shell. I did give it a tap, but it wasn't worth taking. Um, I found another one very similar last time I was here when I walked the other way, which was a Plipsychites, and um, it's so, so hard to get a nicely preserved full one. That's the problem. You can find them, but it's finding one that's like nicely preserved. Um, but hey-ho, eventually I will find a nice one, so. But no, we're just heading up here. There's quite a few rocks to look through. Bag is really heavy now, though. Uh, but I won't mind maybe one or two more things, so <laughs> can never have too much. So yeah, I'll uh, keep wandering. I'll let you know if I can find anything. I don't know if it's just me today. Is it me or does that look like an ammonite? I know you get big ones in these. I'd have said that's an ammonite. I'm gonna hit it. But I think that's an ammonite. Let me have a little hit and see. It looks like an ammonite to me. It's not all in there if it is, but... Yeah, it is. Got some more shell on this side, just there. It's not all there, but I'll see what I can do. There we go. Yep, it's one of those weird big ones. Um, I did find one of these round the back of the pillbox. Uh, maybe however many months ago, but again, it wasn't all there. It is. Actually, it's the underside. Right, I'll show you now. So instead of the ribbing being that way, it is just the outer, the outer well, and the ribbing's going the other way. You see all the ribbing there. So it is an ammonite, but it's just the uh, the wrong side. 
Well, shame it's not that way and we have the rest. Ah, there you have. And I also found this little sweet little nodule. So I'll give that a hit and we'll see if there's anything in. Probably isn't because it's older than us, but give it a try. Perfect split. And nothing in it at all. Well, on to the next. So I had a little sit down, a little reorganise my bag. Took some photos of the stuff, which will probably be the thumbnail for this video. So you'll be able to see how much stuff I actually did get overall. My God, it's a heavy bag. But I'm just walking up to Cowden, get down now. So I'm not too far away from Appleton. Uh, the flag's just on top of the cliff. About there. So yeah, we're nearly done. Nearly done. What what a session it's been. I know a lot of people have been saying, oh it's too sandy, there's too much sand and not many fossils, but it's been perfect. I thought there was a lot of sand at high tide, but once that tide dropped off, there's plenty of material to look through. So it's always worth coming out. Um I'm very happy overall. Hopefully that uh, big block I found with that really nice ammonite in should have some more. Um, sent Phil a message about it and he said could all be a multi. So I hope it is because if there's a couple of them in there I'll be absolutely stunning. I can't wait to get home and get it prepped and have a sit down and see what it's like. So yeah, I will uh, let you guys know if I do find anything else. Um, I think I'm mainly just going to walk now. My bag is very heavy, so yeah, go have a little look and I'll uh, let you guys know. Just walking along and seeing another lovely section. That's cute. Little fat one, isn't it? Look how fat that is. It's proper cool. Yeah, I'll take that. I think I like that. I like that gold. Very nice. Yeah. Being a lovely androg on there. I'm just gonna give it a tap and see if there's any others. A couple of shells, so uh, potential, but yeah, I don't think there will be, but give it a hit. And the day just gets better and better. So that I said would have nothing in it. Had that and look at that under there. Another one that's even bigger. Oh I'm so happy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Take that as it is. There's a little bit of the outer well still there, but I'll take that as it is. And we'll see if we can tap that bigger one out. Oh, that is absolutely brilliant. Yes. <laughs> Lovely little androg. And the colours as well. Can't go wrong with that. Upon better inspection, it's a pleuro, and it's a big pleuro. Now, it's not all going to be there. I'm hoping it's not just a section. And the centre and everything else is there, but... That's a big ammonite. I'm hoping there's another one because there's so much more space. That is really nice. Look at that. Sadly, that big bit was only just a section, but they are pleuros, not androgs. Yeah, I think it is a pleuro. Very nice ammonite, nonetheless. It's going to be stunning. Look at that. Gorgeous. Right, carry on now because we do need to get back. But yeah, stunning. Just hit this nodule and got another nice stack. There was another one there, but it's not all there. Another nice one. Go in the bag. I'm nearly back now, so I'm going to start heading back in a sec. Oh, what a day though. <laughs> right, I'm going to end it there. Um, I am knackered. Got a big heavy bag full, but it's been really, really, really worth it. And you've seen all the finds I've got, loads of ammonites, some fancy stuff as well, some nice fancy ammonites. So we'll see how they prep out and I'll be sure to post them once they are prepared. So thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this, please do like and subscribe. Um, also leave a comment. I want to see what you guys want to see. Uh, I want to branch out and do some different things. So thank you guys for watching. See you later.